Now this is outside of my element that I'm used to on a day-to-day -day basis, but let's go! <laughs> Check this out. Challenge is we're gonna be going head to head today, man. The one hand catch challenge. We got three kicking challenges. Patch one homes boot camp challenge. I think I'm up for it. Let's see how it goes. Test our mental and physical strength. This is I can do that. Ain't no way you hit that. Give me one. I'm terrified. I that 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 don't even seem normal. I'm Stanley, the Reaction Anders. I hail from Detroit, Michigan, and currently I hit the world's fastest pitch. What's up, man? I'm Cliff Floyd. We're over here at Chelsea Pier. I, I, I accepted this challenge. I don't know how I got in this position. A Major League Baseball player stands 60 feet, 6 inches away from the pitcher. I stand anywhere from 20 feet to 17 feet away. That's under 2 tenths of a second. That's a half a blink of an eye. Played 17 years in the league. Uh, won a World Series in 97 with the Marlins. Hit over 230 homers. I'm an ex-corrections officer. I'm head of security at C.J. Barrymore's in Clinton Township, Michigan. A good challenge is something that you know. Obviously, I know baseball. Obviously, I know a fastball. I've been blessed with an ability to hit pitches at abnormal speeds. That's who I am. How do you feel about your eyes? My eyes are real good. But I always welcome a good challenge, so let's get it on the pop. Feeling pretty good. Just want to get, get in here and see what this thing is like. That's why you got to get in here and get, get to it, baby. First pair of Franklins. Pretty good gloves. Franklin makes a pretty good glove. A lot of MLB players wear them. But these are special. These are defensive lineman Nike gloves. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I could do it without any equipment if I had to do it. You don't want to burn your hands up if you don't have to. So. This is Mueller Stick'em. Helps me with my grip on my back. Back in the 70s, early 80s, they outlawed it for, for the National Football League. But Stick'em is good. It helps me a lot, so I use Stick'em. Did you get the tokens, man? Oh, my man. Who misses the most? That's what it comes down to, right there. Reaction time, how quick you are. How fast you can get to the ball. See, you have to experience it. People criticize it or they say, oh, it's not that, it's not that. But until you step in there, and try it, I guarantee you'll be a believer after you're done. That's what I tell people. You don't have to believe me. Just step in there and try it. Give it a shot. It proves that even though I didn't make it and I wanted to make it, I still stayed with it and honed myself into what I am, a human hitting machine. That's what I like. Is that you in that scream? You're hey. getting, you're getting in a minute. Yeah? All right. Gee, Cliff, Cliff, you still look like you can play, man. Hey, I wish, bro. The, the money they're giving man, out no. nowadays. Oh, man. A 90 mile an hour fastball elevator is the best pitch in the game. Yes. How about that? Absolutely. So now, there's an art to being able to hit a ball coming out that, that, at that speed. But this is the thing with this. He is coming. coming. That's it. You ain't got to look for a slider, change. You ain't got to look coming. for none of that. It's coming. So now you know. Now, hit it. That's what, that, that's what it is. I get my mind right. It's our plan. I've never had any formal training. All this is what, what I do. It's natural to me. And I, 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 like I said, I ain't saying I'm the man or none of that. No. I swear I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I have something. It's like a superpower that God has given me. That's why I wear the Batman. Because I feel like a superhero when I step in there. Where it's coming from? Right here? Yeah, it's coming out It's coming out of the big hole. <laughs> Come on, Cliff. Come on, baby. Come on, big fella. Woo, that's that hot gas, Cliff. I like Cliff, man. I like Cliff. I want Cliff to hit it. I challenge anybody in the world other than you. This is crazy. Damn, did you get that? I hope he, I hope he got that, what he just said. Oh, did you get that, what he just said? My man.
know, because it's more of a, it's more of an explosion. You have to explode to the ball. That's the thing. I ain't got that explosion left. Well, you, but you, this is the first time you ever did it. Clip, damn. Get yourself a chance. All right, let's do it. All right, Izzy. Cliff Floyd. Cliff Floyd. Woo! Come on, baby. Ah. Oh. Swing it. Come on, baby. You got peace, though. Come on, baby. Cliff Floyd. Come on, big fella. Come on now. No! Woo, that was in the wheelhouse too, baby. Cliff Floyd, my man. Come on, baby. Hey, Hey! Oh, that's a shot. That's a shot. Cliff Floyd, is that what you do? Oh! <laughs> Don't call my it. man, Cliff Floyd. Love you. Oh! Ooh, be careful. I almost killed him. I almost killed him. Cliff Floyd. Now that's a shot. Okay. Okay, sir. Damn, that was impressive. Y'all can't believe I hit that thing. Like, I, I tried to make the adjustments, but I just got to remember that feel when I go to swing. Let's go, big dog. <laughs> Don't let me get in that head now. <laughs> Uh-oh, he didn't miss one. Yo, I'm in his head. <laughs> oh, he didn't made, he didn't made the adjustment. <laughs> yeah, he's now back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Keep going, dog. <laughs> oh, he ready. That's the one you like right there. <laughs> Still don't know how you do it. Good luck to me. You can't be scared to hit. You have no fear. Even I have a little fear because that distance, first of all, is scary. And then the ball coming to high velocity is scary. So the fear, the fear of failure creeps in your mind and, and, and anything, I think in everything we do in life. But more so in, in sports, especially in a, in, in, a, in a sport that you're gonna fail, I, I just, I, that's the one thing I appreciate watching. Here we go, baby. Good Floyd. And that's gas. Ah. Got peace, got peace. Good job. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, shot. Yeah, I, might have left, I might have left the park on that Oh, one. yeah, you did. That was a shot. Oh. oh, we'll come back with the high gas, though, big fella. Put me back in my lane. <laughs> oh, yeah, now we'll go to the change up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We'll change speeds on you. That's right. Oh, yeah, now we'll freeze you with the heat. <laughs> now we'll freeze you with the heat. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Good shot. We hit hard. Come on, baby. Ah, ah check it. You should have Cliff. Oh, Woo! two. He crushed one though. Hey man, look at him. He getting his zones. He getting his zone. <laughs> he do getting his zone. <laughs> he don't want to talk to me. Ah! Hey, I'm up on. I'm up ah. on him already. <laughs> to your standards, I don't give you that. Ah! All right. I feel you. Ah! Oh, he, he back. He back. Trying to take some tips. I can't. Ah, ah, damn. Ah. 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 Damn it. Ah. Hey, I think we tired now. That's some heat. Woo. Hey, we ready for this last round, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Cliff. Hey, Cliff, we're going to go a little bit closer this last round, man. What you got? Make it a little bit tougher. It's going to be a little bit quicker. What you got? It's heat. I'm going to move it? Yeah, put, yeah put, your, put your back foot on the line. Right so there. So I'm Yeah. Ooh, you're going to have to really be quick now, Cliff. All set, Ish. <clears throat> ah, 
falling off. Good, good cut, though. Good, good cut, though, Cliff. Damn it, damn it. Damn. <laughs> Don't be trying to cheat. Man, it's going to be hard, man. It's going to be hard for me, too, Cliff. That's close, man. We up close. Oh, oh that's a good one. Good shot. Ah. Ooh, that's upstairs. No. Oh. Oh, that's a shot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That was a shot. Yeah. Yo, Stan, show me something, dog. Oh, I'm in the lead already, bro. Oh, I might be taking this home, dog. I don't know. We count that one, dog. Count that one. I, I can't. Hey, hey, foot on the line. Hey, he back. Hey, man. Yeah. It's all right. Ah. Are you breaking stuff back there too? Ah. Hey, you got lucky. <laughs> I got nothing but respect for you, brother. You talking about the distance? You talking about the eye-hand coordination? How long it took to go to fear like I wasn't gonna get smoked? See, I did this my whole life. No. I, 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 yeah, you thrive on contact, but this was a challenge. This was a different challenge. All right, look here, man. I hate you, man. I don't do this too often, bro. I know, man. I, I took know. an L in the World Series. <laughs> and I took one to the crib. My boy! Why well, yeah, well, I got to show you love, man. And give you, hey, hey you sweaty you. as heck, too. Yeah, you man. putting in work? A lot of work. Yeah, that's why you're the champion. I appreciate that, Cliff. You won that. I love you, man. Hey, man. It was rough at the start. Making adjustments on the fly, that's, that's the name of the game for anybody that's trying to, you know, especially for me, playing for as long as I did, I had to make adjustments. Cliff Floyd is a great guy, very humble guy. I was really rooting for him. I wanted to beat him, but I was rooting for him because he's a great guy. He's a genuine guy. First guy in there, I was like, ain't no way possible. But the minute you lose the fear, I move a little bit closer, you know, so I can make sure that I can cut down on my swing a little bit. And it got better. It didn't get to the point where I liked it, but it was better. He did the best job of anyone that I put in the cage trying to do this. And I put hundreds of guys in the cage at all levels. You know what? I, I, I took an L today, uh, rightfully so. I think Stanley, you know, he exceeded my expectations. If I can see it, I can hit it. That's no problem. Coming up next. Today I'm doing three different challenges to see if I can play like Mahomes. Ready, set! <laughs> There's a lot of work that goes into being a lead on the field. You can't just go out there and expect to be good. You have to go out and practice every day and work for it. What it means to be who you are is be yourself. You can be fully original. Don't try to be like other people or anything. Just be yourself. It's really important to have swagger on the field because it gives you confidence, and without confidence, you just give up on yourself. My name's Santi, and today I'm going to be taking the Patrick Mahomes Boot Camp Challenge. In the world of football, I look up to guys like Patrick Mahomes. I think I resemble my game on the guys like that. My favorite skill of Patrick Mahomes is his ability to throw on the run and make accurate off-balance throws. That goes a lot into my game and I can really work on that. Today I'm doing three different challenges to see if I can play like Mahomes. The challenge I feel the most confident is the bootleg, but I feel like the scramble will be the most fun. One of my favorite skills about Patrick Mahomes is his ability to throw without looking. I've got 10 chances to complete as many no-look passes as I can, no problem. 
My friends and I are always trying to do the no-look passes. I always do the best on it. That was fun because I got to really see what, what I could do with the no-look pass. Patrick Mahomes is like really good at it, so I was trying to compete with him. My favorite Mahomes celebration is when he scores and he throws the ball into the stands. This is the bootleg running throw. I'm gonna throw five times rolling out right and five times rolling out left. Let's do it. Ready, set. Ready, set. That one was pretty easy for me. I think that was the easiest one because I got to roll out, throw to an actual receiver. For the last challenge, I have one minute to complete as many passes as possible through the hoops. Sounds easy, right? Maybe not after you have to spin around 10 times around a bat. I think I'll go with purple for this challenge. Uh, it was really fun. I had a good experience. I just can't believe all the things Patrick Mahomes can do against real opponents. I thought I did it really well, but I have a few things to improve on. Uh, the scramble, dizzy bat one was my favorite because I was dizzy and I had to try to throw the ball and I had to really focus. After I spun around 10 times on the bat and I fell down, but I got up and I still made the shot. If I played Patrick Mahomes in these challenges, I think I could, I could compete with them and make him work for it. Patrick, let me know if the challenge is accepted and I'm coming for you. Coming up next. Gonna be um, blowing up some stuff. Fire in the hole. Gonna be um, blowing up some stuff. My first impression would just have to be, uh, you know, how dominant some of these tanks were. You know, I got the Sherman behind me. To really be able to, you know, drive it around and 
really tie that back to people that um, have uh, done amazing work in this tank, you know, it's, it's special. Serving in an armored division, everything is extremely heavy, it's extremely hot, and it's extremely loud. That's kind of the best way to put it. Three, two, one, fire in the hole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That'd knock your cap off. Well, when we talk about Shermans, there was over 60,000 Shermans actually built during World War II. Uh, five different models. This happens to be the third version with a pair of diesel engines in it and a 50 caliber up on the turret. You know, football and um you know, the, the U.S. Uh, military has a, a, whole, a whole lot of parallels. You know, spirit of core, that brotherhood in the locker room, you know, um, fighting together for one common goal. The difference is, you know, when we lose, we go home and we have bad attitudes. You know, when they lose, somebody's getting hurt or somebody's losing somebody. So it's, uh, it's different, but it has a whole lot of parallels that, that keeps everybody focused. Not only are you having to take care of your own crew, you know, you're all dependent on each other in the tank, your driver, your gunner, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest link in that one vehicle, but then that extends beyond you to all the other tanks that are in the company. The Chieftain is about the third modern tank after World War II that the British designed. It has a 105 millimeter main cannon for it. It weighs about 60 tons. It's not much faster than the Sherman. It's about 30 miles an hour. However, it's much more heavily armed. There's a great sense of pride when you learn to drive it and you can drive it well. Uh, it's manual transmission, so there's nothing more you know, satisfying than you're going through all the gears and it's responding. It, it's just a, a beautiful piece to see moving. This is insane. It didn't even feel like it was a car underneath. No. So that guy actually weighs uh, 58 tons. And just put all of its weight on top of it. So right here we got the M9 Vietnam Air Flamethrower. Basically it was used in World War II in Vietnam basically for clearing out bunkers and caves and all sorts of things. I mean, it worked incredibly well against taking out defensive positions. And you're about to feel out why here in a second. I, I definitely, I got sunburned or something on my face. Nah, that was cool though. Like it, it just ate the paper up in like, in like two seconds. So you didn't know in like, in like combat, it was crazy. It was an incredible experience to come out here and um, just kind of pretend to be one of the tough guys for once. And um, I've always had a heightened appreciation for all of those guys and what they do for me and my country.